Levels are good. Yeah. One, two, one, two. What's good, YouTube? <laughs> if you start the video like that, I'm going to get up and walk away. You're better than this, Ben. You're better than this. <laughs> I should know better, <laughs> especially after our episode. Hey, uh, guys, welcome back. We have Chris Roberts here. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you for Happy having to... me on your on your channel, man. Hey, I'm it's thrilled. A privilege. You know, it's a shame that it took six years. It took a while, but mm -hmm. you know. Okay, so what we're here to do is uh, a board review of Chris's setups. So we ha we have two setups here. We got his curb setup and his tail clicking setup. Yeah, this is uh, mind you, and I, I don't want to. You tell me when to shut up. I never had two setups in my life. Mm -hmm. I was always one setup. The board. If I found a good board, I've never been into the... It's, it's the quiver? The quiver. I've never mm -hmm. been into it. But now that I've discovered curbs, yes, I have to have mm -hmm. two boards. It makes sense. Yes. And this one I haven't even... I mean, we're talking Christmas complete. Mm -hmm. so. Those trucks haven't hit concrete yet, no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They still smell... They still smell good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's get into... Uh, why don't we quickly get into the one because this is your okay. classic setup, classic, right? Like classic. what you wrote, what you would have ridden for years before the curbs. Yes. So what do we have here? Seven seven five. Okay. Ch chocolate deck. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. My own pro model. Yeah. If you As want to comment be. below how I'm riding my own pro model, go ahead. But I, this is how we do it. Uh huh. Um, not sure of the truck size. I literally went into the skate shop. I bought these, by the way. I went into the skate shop and I said, I need. Uh, I'm setting up my new board. I need a uh, trucks, and I just I put the trucks on, like you know, over the holes. Mm -hmm. Looked at it and said, "These are good." So I think you have 129s here. Yeah. Like if I just measure this, yeah, 129s. Which I don't is, know if that was the right decision or not. It is for a 7.75, I think. Yeah, because uh, your axles will be tucked in just about a sixteenth on each side. Okay. I believe a 129 measures from the outside of axle to outside of axle like 7.625 gotcha yeah so it's very close 50 millimeter wheels uh swiss bearings nice i think 50 millimeter goes good with a 7.75 because if you throw 52s on here the whole thing starts to look kind of tall and tippy yeah so that's a good combo there yeah the formula fours and mind you this is how i i this is like a when i go ahead i was gonna say these these are not indie bushings. No, no, what have you are, done? These are thunder. Yeah, these are thunder well, bushings. Well, you know that I here. skate for indie. Thindy. Yeah. Thindy. He skates for Thindy. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Keep... And your hardware. You've got a glorious about almost a quarter inch poking up. I don't okay, know if you guys can is... see that. Why Why did I decide to do this? He's just roasting my setup, dude. This is a... Now, let me tell you something. Okay, so... I had my curb set up for a while that mm -hmm. we'll talk about. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a click your tail around set. Mm -hmm. I didn't have that. So I had just gone to the skate shop recently and been like, I need a click your tail around setup. Yep. And then I threw this together. So skate shop bolts. Skate shop hardware, like, yeah. I had to I'm a seven eighths guy. I don't yep. like I don't like this extra So it's metal. actually it's actually a thing that um, Apparently, one inch hardware is the most common length right now. One inch Phillips. So yeah, you got skate shopped on your I hardware, 100%. Chris. Did they use a drill to put this together? No, no, no. I did. I did. Because I didn't have them put my board together. Okay. Well, well they, somebody I, drove your bolts about an eighth of an inch me. through what your are you deck. Talking about that's what I do. <laughs> okay. You like it like that? I do. I like it a little tucked in. Maybe pass first. <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't. I don't blame you. I don't like my hardware to be sticking up at all. It's got to be under the surface of the grip, at to, least a hair. To be honest with you, this is what happens when you use electric drill. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. I could see how that could happen. Go ahead, Ben. What else is wrong with my setup? Go ahead. I didn't realize we were doing this today. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're roasting Chris's setup. <laughs> you should have seen Joe's hardware. Oh really? Mm-hmm. It was longer. <laughs> Come on, let's go back to seven eights, can we? We're not using riser pads. We're not in the past. Mm -hmm. Seven eights is fine. I don't need more metal on my board. Yep. Okay. All right. Let's actually measure the board because um, that's one of the things I love to get into is like, what are the real measurements of something? So, the length, thirty-one, almost thirty-one and an eight. So that's a pretty standard seven point seven five length these days. Your nose is. Mm, almost six and five eighths. It's a little bit over. And the tail is six and a half. So they're they're close in length, but the nose is longer. As is most boards, yep. right? Yep. 
And the wheelbase, ooh, the wheelbase is tight on this guy. It is 13 and three quarters. So yeah, that's um, 14 is kind of standard for a lot of boards. It used to be, and then 14.25 is actually the new standard. And so yeah, this is a compact board for sure. I was wondering why I wasn't ripping today. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the wheelbase. Yeah, you can always blame the wheelbase. Okay, so that's this board. We should look at your curb board now, because that one's interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, what do we have here? So this is a twin, uh, twin paddle, I like to refer to it as, because it's not a nose, it's not a tail, it's a hybrid of a nose and tail. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite uh, shapes. Yep. Uh, that I was skating before I got into the twins. It's a twin nose, not twin tail. It's a tw it's a hybrid. Oh, okay. So it's half nose, half tail. Half okay. man, half amazing. It's somewhere in between. Yes. Got somewhere it. Somewhere in between. Um, eight five. This is my curb setup, mind you. Eight five. I got fifty two millimeters, which we were talking about earlier. I maybe should bump it up to fifty fours. If fifty fours is nice on curbs, because it's kind of like that's when you start to get this feel like it's a monster truck, and you're just like mashing up the curb. I might just switch. Yeah, might switch. Um, these put... are Thunders Independents one sixty ones. Mm -hmm. So I got their. These are into Thunders. They're massive. Mm -hmm. They're massive. Yeah, uh, one sixty one. So also these uh. Pal Swiss, gotta have the Pal Swiss. Uh -huh. Again, I don't know, man. The bolts are, are one inch. I don't, I don't know what's going on here. This is weird. I think I we could just notice that. We could just before. blame the skate shops. Um, I believe these are either Shake Junt rails or Skate Johns. Okay, okay. And you've got them tucked in a fair bit. Do yeah. you like to do the combos? Like the board slide into hurricanes I, and stuff. I, I, I want to get more into that, mm. but usually I do like a nice thumb. See where that line is on my thumb? Mm -hmm. See that little, little the crease there? Yeah. That's okay. usually my my marker. Let's give our viewers a number because then they can copy your board should they show so desire. If anybody wants to copy my setup? So inch and a quarter. Right. Inch, inch and a quarter. quarter. Somebody so will copy your setup. Thumb Guaranteed. That line is an inch and a quarter. So on that note, if people want to copy your setup. Mm -hmm. um, is this, can you buy this board? Is it? Yes. Okay, so this 8.5 is on the market. It's what you'll find in a skate shop? And the 9club.com. Okay, cool, cool. And I like the grip tape actually when I saw that I was a little bit. That's available on the 9club.com yeah, as well. There you go. Um, one thing that I will say about this is, uh, oh, I bought this sticker at Subsec for 50 cents. Mm, yeah, yeah, you guys should probably remember that. Yeah. Um, I will say this though, you rode my board for a couple minutes over here, mm -hmm. which I'm sure you'll ride it again, mm -hmm. but you had fun on it. Yeah. You, you were saying that, I mean, you were flipping it too. You were, yeah. and I was like, I don't know. I didn't really make this board to flip. It was just strictly to, to bash into a curve. So in my opinion, the thunders make it really manageable because even though these are a very wide truck, which I'm pretty sure the 161 is 8.75, Nine. It's a nine inch truck. Yeah. Um, Thunders, because they're low and pretty light, they just, they make it easy to still do flip tricks. And I also think that your wheelbase isn't too long on this, which we'll, we'll get into a second when we start measuring it. I think it's 40. The, the wheelbase? Yeah. Yeah. I think there's a four in there for sure. Let's check that right now. I bet it's a 14. Oh, I'm sorry, 14. What am I saying, 40? Yeah, uh, dude, I messed up my words. Imagine 40 millimeter, <laughs> 40, 40 inch, inch wheelbase. wheelbase. <laughs> that's longboard territory. Oh, that's that's long, long, longboard territory. No, it's actually, so really quickly, I'm gonna come up in your defense here. When you're filming videos, it's so easy to say the wrong word and completely miss it. I do this all the time on my construction channel yeah. and I get harassed so hard. You know, people are like, cause they love to get super technical and they love to show you how much they know. And it's, yes. yeah, just like I was doing with your hardware. We do, I mean, on the Nine Club too, we get, mm -hmm. you say one wrong thing and you will hear about it in the comments. Yeah, like a know? nollie half cap heel. Whatever it is, man. Whatever it is, you know? Yeah. But also we like to have fun and I do like to troll people sometimes. Mm -hmm. So that's another mm -hmm. go go figure. Yeah, totally. Okay, let, let's actually get into the measurements yeah. here. Okay, so this is 31 and 7 eighths. So it's comp it's on the compact we side. We should have written down what that was. You remember what that one? The yeah, it's 31 and an eighth almost. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm a numbers guy. Okay, so 31 and seven eighths. We got a 14 inch wheelbase. So for an 8.5, this is on the compact side. Um, one of the benefits to that is like, especially for a slappy board, a lot of guys are going narrower. Wheelbases are tending to trend narrower in general right now. 
I think a lot of the bigger boards, like 8.5s in the past, were based off of vert boards. So we had these boards that were, you know, at least a half inch longer than this with a half inch longer wheelbase. And it was made to be really stable while you're riding super fast on vert. Mm. But when it comes to wanting a tight turn, it's not going to work as good for things like curbs. So even, who's that really rad curb guy in Florida? Who's like insane. Oh, Abe Bethel. Yes. Yeah. He rides a 13.75 wheelbase, which is the same as what's on this board. What size, uh, what size board? I think it's pretty wide, like an 8.5. Like and then he, he has something crazy like an 8 inch nose, which okay. is an inch longer than average. It's, See, it's like a special zero shape that I, they made for him. I hate where I'm at right now with skateboarding because I don't, I don't want to travel with two setups. Mm -hmm. I really don't. It's, it's very, I'm, and everybody out there may be like, oh, come on, bro. But like, dude, I've traveled my whole life with one skateboard. I have my bag that fits one skateboard. Like, now I almost have to take the two apart mm. or one apart yeah. and like travel with it in pieces and then reassemble. Like, I would love to be able to like find a happy medium and be like, hey, this is just my board. Mm -hmm. It's going to be my slappy board and my street board. So you know what I would do? Go ahead. I would switch to 149. I think with time you could get used to flipping this around. Okay, 140. Oh, with the with yeah, the so, 8, so, 8, 5, 149. Yeah, so right now you have you have nine inch trucks. Yeah. And if you switched them down to eight and a half inch trucks, okay. I think you'd find that your slappies won't suffer. I can still do slappies really well on an eight and a half inch truck. Yeah. It's gonna tuck everything in a little bit more and it'll be able to flip easier. Now, so, what about the wheel size? The wheel 52s? size? Keep it if 52? you want, yeah, yeah. If you want to flip your board more, stay with fifty two. Mm -hmm. And then if we, you really, I'll watch this video later and figure out what you just said. Yeah, and then if you really want to make it easier, you can also start doing things like making your trucks hollow. These are just your standard thunders. So then, yeah, then you can go to, you know, they have thunder lights, which will right. give you a smaller base plate, all sorts of stuff, you know. So yeah. there's options. That And I'm that's just, the madness, though. I know. I, think, well, <laughs> I just need Jim Thebo to send me a bunch of stuff, you know. Yeah, Jim. I'm not winking there for anybody that didn't see that. <laughs> Anyways, so um, yeah, no, this is actually a nice shape. Let's measure the nose and tail. Well, the the nose, the the nail, the, the yeah, toes. Yep. Um, we are six and seven eighths there, and six and seven eighths there. So Wouldn't that's you do good. better with like a tailor's ta uh, measuring tape? You know the, um, uh, the. So to measure with the concave. Yeah. Yeah. So there's there's two ways to measure boards. One of them is is straight across, like bird's eye view, looking down. Mm -hmm. That's the way that's easier if you want to uh, computer program it, okay. right? Or if you, um, yeah, for computer stuff. But the way Paul Schmidt does it is he likes to get his measurements with the concave, yeah. which adds a half inch. So this, for example, at 31 and 7 eighths would now be 32 and 3 eighths. So. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Shouldn't we conform to a normal standard measuring system yeah most people measure um, bird's eye view directly straight across straight across is like that is excuse me would you mind not getting in our shot right oh, here? Sorry. No, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding i'm kidding <laughs> See that? About that. No. i'm listening to you guys right now are you yeah what episode uh the last one you did where it's like the uh, skater of the year oh skater of the year stuff yeah okay yeah anyways yeah. I, can, I can move if you want me to no no, 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 no dude, you're I'm totally totally this is ben DeGro. i'm ed by the way hey ed ben hey ben how you doing ben man hey. he's famous on youtube man awesome yeah. awesome so um, um but yeah shouldn't we conform to a to one system Yes. This so, is what drives me crazy about trucks. Mm -hmm. Truck. Yeah, Every we talked truck about the one size is different. Mm -hmm. than this company uses this. This company says 149. This company says 130. It could be the same exact. It's if you wanted my man. opinion on the truck one, it okay. should all be measured axle length. That's fine, but can we agree? No. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Some people want to market it differently. I know, but it, it, stop it. It's madness. Yeah. It's it's not good for the end consumer. But so when you're measuring it like this and you're talking to Paul Schmidt about mm -hmm. something, you're giving him different measurements. Yeah, I, I have to conform to how he likes to measure stuff. But most of the industry doesn't measure that way. I'll, I'll give you my theory on why he likes to measure that way. And I think it's because he's been handcrafting boards for a long time. He'll use a, pap a paper template to lay onto a board and so when you're doing that, you, you're not, it's not straight across. It's following the curves of the board. So you need to know all those measurements with the curves. Okay. But just to give you an example, sure. like, so right here, I'm looking down, it's six and seven eighths.
but if I push the tape down with the curve, now I'm at almost almost a quarter inch bigger. So it it adds, like I said, the concave adds roughly a half an inch over the length of a board. As long as you guys know what you're doing. Then. Well, I think it's just one of those things that's going to be confounding for the end consumer forever. But I recommend the bird's eye view simply because anyone can just take a tape measure, put it across here. You don't need a tailor's tape. Um, I. In my opinion, that's best for the consumer, okay. which is why I recommend that way. Gotcha. I just think it's it's important for people to know that there are two ways to measure. It yeah, for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, how do you what do you what do you think? Well, I think it was pretty fun. Um, you know, I ripped around on it a little, yeah. did some grinds and stuff. Like I was saying, if you want it to flip faster, having your trucks tucked in a little bit will help. And again, 149 still gives you lots of space for truck on the curb, giving in the madness. I don't think he'll get it. I, I just, think you're somewhat immune to that madness. I just don't know if I can do a 8.5 board. This is an 8.5 board. I know, but I don't ollie on it. I don't click the tail uh, and I don't flip it. Like mm -hmm. that's the problem. Like I think I would have to do, okay. 825 with 149. Eight then you get the wide truck. 825 with 149. Yeah, yeah. You'll still now, get the is benefits. That, is, that, is it gonna, um, stick out a little bit or not? Just a tiny bit, but your wheels won't. So but here's I feel another like thing. if I'm clipping my board, it's gonna be easier to flip with the with the trucks inset a little it bit. It is, it is. So what's what's well, lower you, than 149? Well, then you could go with the one, well, it depends which truck you're going. So with Thunder, this is the confusing one, 148. But that's an 825 truck. Okay. Yeah, so, if, so you could go like eight and three eights with an 825 truck. It's actually a pretty nice combo. That'll flip, that'll grind. It'll do everything you want it to do. <laughs> this could be a whole other episode. I know. Come revisit, revisit me when I'm when I'm <laughs> yeah. to switch everything. Yeah. Because I just I would I would like one board. Mm -hmm. I'm not Roger, for instance, has eight boards. Like he's mm -hmm. got like a lot of different boards. He always is messing with the boards. I don't want to mess with my boards. Yeah. I want to have one board for everything. I totally get it. You know, believe it or not, I only have one setup at a time. It mm -hmm. does change over time. It right. changes less over time than it used to. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I only ride one. And mine, mine's optimized for flip tricks, but I can still do slappies on it. You get used to whatever you're riding. 100%. 100%. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Should we try this board? Yeah. You want to yeah. try it? This is the slappy board. Yeah. Ready no, I'm, I'm stoked to try both of these. Let's start off on the slappy board so I can warm up my legs a little. Let's do it. Okay. I, this is strange. I keep looking for the nose and like, which way does it go? And it doesn't. <laughs> the only thing that, it, that is non-symmetrical on that board is the grip tape, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, non-symmetrical yeah. grip tape, yeah. like over pinch 50. It definitely feels like a tech deck. The short, wide, stubby feel with the big trucks, it's like, it's a tech deck for my feet. Just wait till you, like wait, wait till you try this one. Now I'm looking forward to it. Those Los Angeles rocks, man. Ben comes all the way from Vancouver to wax our legends, man. Just showing up and waxing the spots without asking. Don't worry, I'm commentating about it. Okay, good. I would say you're actually doing a pretty good job just skating somebody else's board. Like, that would suck. I think, um, yeah, the trucks are tighter than I ride, so I would call these a medium tight. And also, yeah, there's, so that's making it a little harder for me to get into my preferred pinch. But um, no, overall, I think the years of skating, 
so many different things made me adapt quickly. Mm. Going out. That's almost Ty Evans worthy filming right there. I'm just gonna live throw that out there. Ty Evans with a dolly. I want that here. This will be a trick that's so hard on this. Okay. Oh, okay. One more try. Okay. What, you gonna you gonna focus it? No, it's got rails. I would just hurt myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wanna skate the little board. Okay. I have a tendency on a board with a tight wheelbase when I kick flip, like my body goes too far forward. Cause it's like as it goes up, it's the tail's hitting too soon and my foot's flicking before it's ready. Gotcha. Yeah. Not expect to do a willy grind. Yeah, I love you know, slappy willy sounds kind of bad. It is bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. That was good. Ooh. This really reminds me of what I rode like in my late teens, early twenties. Very much. Me and Ted would have ridden setups just like this. Okay, but the slappy, so when your truck gets so narrow, it makes your board feel like it's angling really hard on the slappy crook. Mm -hmm. You can't sit on it the same. Me than the other one well yeah i mean because i set that up totally maybe it's actually the the hardware listen <laughs> that's messed up dude don't we talk about my hardware like that <laughs> we know how i feel about my hardware manual okay manuals are kind of cool i mean if i'm riding your board i should be doing some more manuals what do you here. want to do on here back 180 switch manual no dude we'll spend all day trying that i'm gonna do that in my own free time <laughs> what do you want to do um i think i could do front 180 manual the thingy and then okay. maybe a switch manual that's probably you know enough okay. making making people film manuals i just did a post where i roasted people asking you their friends to film manuals and like here I am asking you to film a manual for me. I am not, hey. I'm not happy about it. <laughs> hey bro, just film this manual real quick. Trust me, <laughs> I've been there. I'm I'm that guy too, unfortunately. <laughs> you might have touched. Pretty 
good. I like it. So the manuals are really nice, like that tight wheelbase. And then Indies, because the axles are further in, manual really nicely. But uh, I, it's to the point where on that front 180 manual, I, it like goes down so easily, I have to like recalibrate and put a little more weight on this foot. Okay, let's recalibrate. Okay, recalibrate. for the 90s manual. Yeah. But, so I actually like this better than I thought I would. And the tight wheelbase is like not messing with me. A lot of people are like, if your wheelbase is too tight, it's gonna make your knees knock together when you skate. I don't feel like that's happening to me. If my knees knock together when I skateboard, please just somebody put me out of my misery. <laughs> this one's on a wing and a prayer, a hard okay. foot, a hard okay. foot. Ooh. That was definitely a prayer. That was definitely a prayer. Yeah. Oh, hit me so hard in the ankle. Ooh. I knew it would work. Damn. You know what I like about it? When I skate this, skateboarding feels easy again. And I feel like when all set up scaled up, you know, it got harder and I wasn't skating for like 10 years much. So I don't know if I could do this as a daily rider and I'm not about to have a quiver, but I am having a lot of fun. So if you guys like your board to spin around real easy and you like manuals, you might actually like this. And the Indies being a tall truck, I find it's compensating for what I would think would have been a lack of pop from the tight wheelbase. So um, yeah, surprisingly good combo. I'm definitely used to compensating for things. <laughs> Ooh, that was Wait, you gotta rewind that switch front side flip. That was almost JB Gillard esque. Right Thank there. you. That's um, an honor to Please hear that. Hundred percent. Yeah. And now we should slappy this board real quick, and then I think I'm done. Okay, go ahead. tell you I could, I could honestly yeah. seriously tell you are having a good time yeah it's board. actually a good time riding it yeah Whew. there you go take it all the way baby Whoa. I should have been filming that sorry <laughs> I'm the worst, yeah, we got, I'm we the should, worst filmer ever we should be poaching everyone while we're here right actually not only like will I'm... we take up all the oxygen in this in the spot we'll film everyone at the same time you got to sign our YouTube release form man I got <laughs> <laughs> I know you want more. Jamie Thomas, one more. It's all the curb's fault, Chris. Look, well, look at your board right here. Nobody's waxing on the other side of this joint. Never... If other people would wax it properly, this wouldn't be happening. It's never my fault. <laughs> that was better though. You feel that grind better? Yeah, that was better. Better. I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a herd disabled man. Yeah, I think I think that one was pretty good. 
I would only do more if you want more. Look at, look at him. Look at him. You guys, don't ask him to do more. But it is very frowned upon to carry your board like this. Although, it is the most comfortable way to carry it. It's very ergonomic. Do this. Do that. Uh -huh. Say, come on, let's go. A lot of things you can do with it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you better be careful. I might have my thumbnail here. You can say like this because, you know, you landed that trick. <laughs> That's the thumbnail. <laughs> well, Chris even got a few clips. One clip. Uh-huh. Is that one? Multiple, well, I don't know how we're going to edit that. Yeah, I'll run it by you later. But it's, I did, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. He got a trick. Got a multiple trick. Multiple times. Got a trick. But I am going through, I just, I'm just trying to rehab my knee, you know? Excuses, excuses, I know. No, but it's and legit. And my back started hurting, dude. That yeah. was out of nowhere. Yeah, I, I kept telling you, no pressure to do anything, but uh, but he did. And that was your first time in a long time, right? First time in a long time that I've actually like skated and really like tried to do some tricks. Mm -hmm. So it was cool though. I feel like this is the start yes. of my comeback. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hoping to see some more on, the, on your channel. I appreciate it. Yeah, hopefully, mm -hmm. yeah. But okay. this was cool though. I enjoyed you um, really just... I had fun on this. This one's my pick. You of were your talking two cents. a little bit of smack beforehand. You were kind of really giving it the the you know the I was over. I was, but once I got on it, this thing was really fun. It's good, right? Mm -hmm. I would like scale it up to an eight, but I had a surprising amount of fun. Like I thought the thirteen point seven five wheelbase was gonna feel like way too short. Mm. I just had all these like uh, expectations about it, and I was super surprised at how much I ended up enjoying riding it. You know what I might do? This whole experience has been really nice for me because I may take your advice and do the 825 mm -hmm. with the truck set up and everything and maybe yeah. try to set it up so I can just have one board set up. Because yeah. this annoys me. I think you can get used to 825. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think you can get used to flipping it around. It takes a little bit, but if you just do it a little more regular, it'll come, become easy. 825 is like the new normal. 8, 825 is the new... 7.75. I mean, that sounds good to me because I'm a 7.75 guy. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, next time you come down, mm -hmm. um, I'll have another board for you to review. Cool. It'll, I'm... Be, my eight, it'll be my 825 slappy slash click the tail around board. I'm down. Yeah? Yeah, that sounds good. Chris, it's been a pleasure. Hey, Thanks for coming on the channel. Thank you for having me, dude. Yeah. Okay. Ben to grow, everybody, huh? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, I guess we got an outro much, eventually. He's much nicer in person. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Okay. See you guys. Till the next one.